for uh, this interview that we can come here to add me. And um, yeah, just to start, my first question is, can you tell maybe a little bit about um, your organization, how it started, and also uh, why you, you started this organization? Yeah, I can do that. Um, so I will give you some kind of background of mm -hmm. how we started. Um, so I is an environmental NGO based in Beijing, mm -hmm. uh, China that focuses on information transparency and public participation. Right. Uh, we were founded in 2006 and it has been like 11 years since we sort of been existing. We sort of have a, an online real-time monitoring map that sort of monitors air and water qualities uh -huh and the air emission and wastewater discharge status. And we also have like a whiteboard uh, database. We have like kind of uh, 450,000 um, violation, environmental violation records in the database. Yes. And all these database, all these records are coming from uh, environmental protection bureaus in China. And we sort of uh, collect the data and we analyze them and yeah. then put them into yeah. our database yeah. uh, to make it more easier to access for public. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, then uh, one of your very well known projects that is the Blue Map app. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, where is this app about and um, why is it developed? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh uh, yeah, so like I said, we have all this data and in order to make the data database even more accessible to the public, we sort of developed and launched the Blue App Map in 2014. So the app actually contains a lot of functions. It's pretty cool. Uh, it sort of <laughs> serves as an uh, online real-time data platform. Uh -huh. So in general, in general, it provides the public with uh, comprehensive and authoritative uh, information about, about air and water quality yeah. and industrial emissions um, and visualize the data uh, through dyna dynamic maps. Yeah. So beyond that, app serves as a channel for public participation, um, allowing citizens to report pollution. So well, the fun part of that uh, <laughs> function we yeah. just showed you is that you could actually, as a citizen, you could actually Click on those factories. Yeah. Like in red, show. Yeah, so I'll get one here. Um, so if you see one that's out of compliance, you can click on it. And then... Yeah. Um, so you can trace them. Yeah, so you can see <laughs> the, um, you can see here basically the historical data. And then if you click the button in the upper right hand corner. Um, yeah, and you could just report it uh, using social media. Yeah. And uh, so you could okay. actually tag in uh, local governments or NGOs that uh, have um, like a social media account, yes. and then sort of like um, you know, Twitter in China or whatever. Yes. So sort of create this kind of interaction magazine, not only interactive but also completely transparent, yeah. because it's on social media, so everyone can see how the polluting factory is going to respond yeah. and how the government is responding to this question. Yeah. And this idea of transparency using real-time data actually empowering governments to enforce the law. Yeah. So that's how this micro-reporting mechanism in our app actually works. And also we think this that's the beauty of uh, real-time data and how we use data to create this kind of interaction between uh, the public, including companies and the governments to do and make decisions. Yeah, I think sort of the beauty of what we're doing is we're very much trying to be solution oriented. So it's not just raising the problem. No. Uh, we don't want to like raise the problem and just leave it there. We yeah. want to raise the problem and say you can use transparency yeah. as part of the solution. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. 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 So not just uh, shaming and blaming, but also. Yeah, I think on. originally you yeah. sort of use a lot of name and shame yeah. uh, practices, but I think we're sort of, you know, very much involved past that point to yeah, yeah, bring about yeah. other solutions in the, the mix as well. Okay, <laughs> yeah. thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes. And um, it, I think it's really interesting to hear also how digital this uh, all is. It's very much about all minds. Like uh, internet thinking. Internet thinking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, so thank you very much. Uh, and, uh,
we did for you enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for um, you know reaching out to us to let us share IB's story. Um, and I would just add to that because um, this is an online course, so uh, we do have the Blue Map available for download on both Android and um, iOS platforms, and we have both Chinese and English now. So if you're not a Chinese speaker, Chinese reader. Yeah. Um, you can download the app for yeah. English operating systems, and yeah. actually we have global air quality data in there as well. So yeah. if you're interested, you can go and take a look and yeah. also see what we're doing here in China yeah. um, and here in Beijing and all these cities. Yeah. So, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Great, thank you very much. Thank you.